And right off the bat, let's talk to the guy who jump-started the Portland Trailblazers in the fourth quarter. Carmelo Anthony joins us. Uh, Melo, thank you for your time. I, uh, I see that going into the game, after passing Oscar Robertson, you were 224 points behind Akeem the Dream. It looked like you were trying to catch him in the fourth quarter alone. Tell me about your fourth quarter when you scored 17. I'm just playing. I'm just enjoying the game, playing, taking advantage of my opportunities. Uh, you know, I didn't play much in the third. I stayed with it, stuck with it. Uh, cheered my teammates on. When, when my number was called, I, I was ready to deliver. Carmelo, you know, your team, I'm a big fan of your team. Do you, how frustrated are you guys that y'all can up, never all get healthy at the same time? It's tough. It's tough. It seems like Portland got a, got a jinx out here, but... <laughs> Let them get let them get right. They, they'll get right. You know, they'll be back in time. We just got to, you know, hold the fort down until those guys come back. We'd be all right, man. Just we got we literally got to take it one day, one game at a time. Play the way that we know how to play. Be, you, know, you know, form a little bit more consistency out there on the court night in and night out. And we'll be fine. Carmelo Shaq here, you had a, uh, some flashbacks tonight. I've never been the shooter. Could you explain to me how it feels when you hit one, two, or three in a row? How's it feel? You're just going. You're you, you, you just going. Uh, you're playing ball. You're in the rhythm. Uh, you was, I'm a rhythm guy, man, so I, I get a rhythm, I start feeling good, and the basket is big. It's, it's, the ball was going in the night. Mello, you played absolutely amazing in that quarter. And for me, what does it mean to you that they trust you so much in those positions that's that make or break time in the game and they give it to you? I mean, that trust is a big thing, I can tell you that. You know, for those guys who trust me in these, in these moments, these situations, at the end of the day, it is basketball, though. I, you know, I, I know how to play <laughs> basketball. I, I try to play the right way. Uh, you know, it is a different situation for me, uh, but I got to take advantage of my opportunities, and that's what I'm going to continue doing. Well, I just want to say, number one, you were awesome tonight, but let me, I can tell you, when I had those flashbacks late in my career, you're going to be tired for the rest of the week. You know that, don't you? <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm in yeah, shock. a glass of wine. You're going to be fine, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, a, I got a good right? glass waiting for me tonight. Uh-oh. Was that Chosen Family? <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll let you know. <laughs> Season high 24 for Carmelo Anthony as Portland beats Philly for the Thank second you. time in a week. 118-114. Thank you, Melo. We appreciate it. And we welcome everybody to Inside the NBA presented by Kia. That was a terrific uh, nightcap to our doubleheader, man. Philadelphia comes in with the best record in the East. Portland without Lillard last week knocked them off 121-105. to Dame Dollar ready to go in this one, and so was Joel Embiid. That's what you want to do as a big man. What's that down there, Shaq? Barbecue chicken Barbecue alert. Barbecue tech gang. <laughs> run, big man. Run that floor. Man, Simmons and Embiid's chemistry seems so much better this year, right? When Simmons is going, Embiid is trying to find him and vice versa, and they were feeding him tonight. Lillard had a big first quarter. He had 19, <laughs> but then he cooled off substantially. You saw Ben Simmons right there, and then... Well, you, you know, you got to give uh, the Sixers some credit. They started doubling Dame Lillard, and then they put Simmons on him. That was, that was the two reasons he slowed down. And this just before the half shack. Give it to the guy that's hot. Give it to the guy that's an MVP candidate. Give it to the big man. 63 to 60 Philadelphia at the half. Ooh. That's yeah, the MVP is going to be interesting because LeBron, uh, Joker, Embiid, and Donovan Mitchell, those four guys going to battle for MVP all year. Great feed inside from Ben Simmons to Danny Green. Ooh, my goodness, Carmelo. This is, is when it, the floodgates <laughs> open. No, this is when the floodgate opens. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to show you when the floodgates open. He had oh, seven ooh. through three quarters, had 17 in the fourth. Ernie, Ernie, this is when you know the gates are open. <laughs> That's an old Melo right a, He didn't even call glass on that one. But I've seen New York Nick Melo. Portland many times, not only this year, but last year also. And that's what I was asking. They trust him when they need him, when Dane's getting doubled to make Ooh, this kind Talk of about need that boy, that Gary Trent can shoot that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Had 19 on the night. Oh. Lillard. Tough. His 14th 30-point game. Oh, oh don't leave the Curry boys open. Yep, Seth ties the score. This that was a one good call right here. Oh, no. Yeah. Come on, Shaq. That's a good call. You got to beat him to the spot, Chuck. Yeah. No, yeah, he didn't nice. beat him to the spot. Knocks down the free throws. And oh. then good defense by Robert Covington knocks it away. Looks like he knew that play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> he is going to MB. You know, right. like, man, but this is that's, that's a good game, man. That was a very good game.
118-114 the final as the uh, Blazers go to 14 and 10. Philadelphia falls to 18 and 8, has their little two-game winning streak snap. They had won 9 of 11 coming in, but Portland wins this one, and uh, Lillard, again, struggling from the field in this game uh, after that first quarter. He was 6 for 21 for the game for his 30 points, but, man, it was Carmelo Anthony in that fourth quarter. If, that, if he doesn't have that kind of a start to the fourth quarter, we're not talking about this game. Yeah, we talk about culture for the Miami Heat and all these other teams, but look at this culture at Portland. Like, look, they're out with, without C.J. McCollum, without Nurkic, without Collins. These guys are stepping up their game. Simons, Hood, Harry Giles, you know, Gary Trent Jr. These dudes are balling. Like, this is the, – the Sixers are the best team in the Eastern Conference, and they come underhanded, and, and the Blazers beat them. I'm just uh, pretty impressed watching them every single night. I'm excited to see what happens when they get healthy. Well, uh, it was fun watching them. Uh, Carmelo and Gary Trent, uh, you know, one guy who's underrated and won't show up, show up a lot on the stat sheets with Harry Giles. You know, his, his, he, he was chance. out there being a little energizer bunny. <laughs> uh, I like the way he was out there really, really working hard. But Chuck's just... Who's your favorite, though, Chuck? You were talking about cancer the whole well, time. Man, I love him. He's a <laughs> he was talking about you know cancer what? the uh, whole cancer. You, you this, know, cancer that. Chandler, one of my favorite players uh, <laughs> is Tyson Chandler. Okay. Always has been. And this one guy, me and Kenny talk about it all the time. We are talking about, I said, man, I love Tyson Chandler. And the guy says to me, he's a big time NBA guest. Says, well, he can't do anything but rebound and, uh, and block shots. And me and Kenny says, well, you want more than that from a seven-foot guy? <laughs> and that's that just a lot of these Italian evaluators. You know, everybody talk about what can or can't do. They're like, well, he's not a great defender. <laughs> hey, listen, I wasn't a great defender, but I was going to give it to your ass on two ways, <laughs> scoring and rebounding. Yeah. You know, so guys could quit talking about what guys can't do. Ennis Cantor can play on my team anytime. Ten points, 14 rebounds, and three stitches on the night for, uh, for Ennis Cantor. You know, got all bloodied there in the first yeah, half. I mean, because, Ernie, you know, if you got some stitches, you'd be out for like three weeks on this show. The Italian oh, yeah, well, without, without question. You without question. I would have taken a month. <laughs> um, but, but I also know if I had uh, – I know Harry Giles has got, you know, good energy and that kind of thing. But if I had made that point and said – Boy, the Harry Giles, what a night. You would have said, what are you talking about? A guy with two points and seven rebounds nope. and no assists and Nobody. five fouls. But don't, no, you, but would have, you would have said yes, that to yes, me. You would have. Now let's go to Shaq. Exactly. What, <laughs> Portland, Portland has always been a dangerous team when they're shooting the ball well. Uh, tonight, Carmelo stepped up in the, in, in the fourth quarter. It's going to be interesting to see when they're healthy. But that's been a story for the last four or five years. It'll be very interesting to see when they're healthy. But, you know, I, what scares me about them is, is, is when the – Ball is not going in, can they still win? And tonight the ball wasn't going in for their number one guy, but the number two guy, Carmelo, stepped up. And I love Ennis Cannon too because he does a lot of stuff you don't really you don't really count on the tap sheet. Like when you tap three or four balls back and give the, uh, to your team extra possessions, yeah. that's big.